Okay, hello everybody. So you all know Christmas time is coming up pretty soon. Sorry, I'm yelling. I don't have my mic in. I don't like to really promote uh, Christmas carvings too much before Remembrance Day, but you have no choice. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, and I suggest you really start uh, doing your Christmas carving. So let's not say this is a Christmas tree. Let's just say it's a tree. I don't know how it's going to work out. It's a new style tree I'm going to work on. I've seen people do them. This is a piece of Western Red Cedar. It's uh, nine inches. It's eight inches wide and two feet tall. Okay, so eight inches wide and two feet tall. Um, you can see I sliced the log in the half. You guys can use your axe. To, so this would be a little log. I sliced it in half. Okay, so let's try this. Let's put it in our jaw horse. And uh, this is going to be a time lapse, okay? So I'll speed it up, not crazy speed, but this is for you, Jess Carve Rub. So what's, what I basically do with my trees is I uh, draw the bottom on here. So this will be the bottom. This is going to be a straight tree. It's not going to have like a wind blown thing on it. Draw the top, your center here. And boom. So there's our trunk, and then our base will be right here. So let's try that. Can you guys see that? This thing even filming? Okay. So here's your tree. Goes like this. Here's the bottom of the tree. Here's the trunk, and then the base will be down here. So I'm going to be using my uh, my battery still saw, my 140 with a 8 inch, uh, sorry 12 inch cannon bar on it, okay, this is the 140, yeah 140C with this 12 inch um, still dime tip bar on it, it's 043 gauge chain people, it's thinner chain than a normal chain, okay so what I'm going to do first is block all this out, get rid of the outside wood, then get rid of the bark, and start shaping the tree. Go on. Okay, so you can see here the tree is shaped. I want this tree more to go like, whoosh, like in here. Watch my finger. Whoosh, because it just looks a little bit too straight up and down. So watch this, abracadabra. Okay, you see there it's kind of more. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The, the more you give it flow before you start carving all the branches in, the better it's going to look, okay? So... I don't know if I'm going to make cuts like this for this tree. I wanted to try cross cuts like this, then break them up, and or I can do swoosh cuts like this. I think I'm just going to go with the cross cuts all the way across it. Try it. This tree might not work out. It's the first one, right? It's all trial and error. But before I do that, I want to flip this tree over in my jaw horse. You guys, it's really good if you're doing chainsaw carvings or bigger carvings with your... Uh, die grinder to get a jaw horse I'm gonna flip it over in the jaw horse and deal with this trunk right now okay release your jaw horse you can do it any way you want you can put it over here I like to do this personally okay so there we go it's all locked into place trunk base
okay so here you go so you can see here I did undercuts so I'm gonna get rid of those now like you see that okay so I'll get rid of that and I'll clean up all this make sure there's no undercuts and uh, then we'll start carving the shape okay release it from your jaw horse now you can see I got the shape of the tree I got this thing it's crooked who cares because I did some undercut under there um, this is really shitty cedar so now what I'm going to do is pull up my gas saw and just give it some cuts across here I'll do a time lapse I just want to kind of make it look like um, I don't know a bonsai tree but just kind of that effect we'll see if it works or not put it back in your jaw horse Hope I got enough gas here for my chainsaw. Hi, everybody. Yeah, all right. Hello. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll keep on using my battery saw because some of you guys might only be able to run battery saws, right? So. Okay, well, I was only doing that one side is because I didn't want to get kicked back, right? So now I can go over here and do the other side. Oh, this is too slow for me. I'm going to get my, my gas saw going. Okay. The battery saws are great, but the gas saws just are a lot faster. So I like the way this looks. You see, once I got up to the bottom, I tilted my saw. I didn't go straight in. I tilted it, so I cut up under. Like, let me give you an example right here. So you cup on, up and under, I'll do right here. Okay. So I know this cedar burns shitty burns really shitty so 
I gotta burn it anyways, but let's blow it off. So there. See? I like it. Might even just leave the base the way it is. Don't have to do anything. Okay, so I'll burn it now. I know this this cedar I've carved it burns like crap, but anyways, I'll try it. Okay, just one of these. This is propane. Pete filled this up for me. Map gas. Now I'll get my flaps on her. Okay. Okay, so there you go. You can see it's done. I'm um, sorry. I should have had this guy out of the picture some because some of you guys have been looking at this guy probably the whole time Anyways, I want to say something um for all you beginning chainsaw carvers. It really helps When you use the side of your bar so for these cuts, okay, I wasn't cutting straight in Because if you cut straight in then you're just gonna get a uh, square cut inside here uh Steve Kenzor and Ryan Cook taught me use the side of your chain because then you'll only get a one-sided cut not a deep channel right so boom boom use the side right boom boom you saw me switch over here then I use this side right I didn't cut straight in you know what I mean so use the side of your bar so this side and this side don't cut straight in let me give you an example so that's me using the side of the bar side of the chain sorry okay then I went over here can I use the side of the chain okay that's it everybody so it just goes to show you you can carve a little Christmas tree out of a half log like this so if you got full log big branches slice them in half don't forget to sign it and uh, yeah just a simple little project for uh, beginning chainsaw carvers the more you do the better you'll get Thanks for your uh, support everybody, hope this video can help somebody and um, carry on, carbon fusion, over and over. Hope you all had a good turkey or ham dinner. One thing I do want to say about this stock, you can't make it so it flares out at the bottom, it will look more real like whoosh, whoosh, at the bottom. Anyways, carry on. One more tip that uh, anybody that uses the sandal flexor like uh, the sandpaper with the emery cloth and you got those little fuzzy strings stuck on your carving after. Just get your torch, give it a quick little hit. Give it a quick little hit and all those fuzzies will just burn right off or melt or something. You see this right here? That's what I'm talking about. Gone. Boof, Ben, boof. You see this wide grain? Look how wide that grain is. Tomorrow, I do a fun project. A big show Sugi Ben. Ha <laughs> ha, Painter Blue.